Welcome to The Project Project with Sam and Lewis, the podcast that looks at projects throughout pop culture and history. I'm Sam. And I'm Lewis. And on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at Project MC Squares, which is a TV show uh, from 2015 onwards. Yeah, slightly different this time of yeah. a kid-orientated it is, TV yeah. show. It's but... not really the target audience this time in, in almost any way. Oh, you know, think. but it's got Project in the title. It's so. got Project in the title. We watched um, a couple of episodes of that, um, sequential episodes, two-parter yeah. kind of thing almost, isn't it? Um, so we'll get onto that in just a moment. But before that, Lewis, you have found some project news, haven't you? Yeah, I do. So uh, first one is, <laughs> is Trump president again? <laughs> Lincoln Project. <laughs> Sorry, I almost spat my coffee <laughs> on that one. <laughs> right, uh, tell me more. Tell Lincoln more. Project launched webpage mocking reinstatement day conspiracy. Right. So uh, <laughs> the Lincoln Project is a... Oh, yeah, I don't know anything It's a conservative this. but anti-Trump Right, group. okay, okay, yeah. So they, they're Republicans, <laughs> but they're not... They don't like how Donald Trump's taken over the Republican Party, basically. Yeah, understandably. And uh, <laughs> they launched like their new website <laughs> with um, a tweet that said, uh, Mike Lindell said Donald Trump would be back in the office in the morning of August 13th. <laughs> Visit istrumppresident.us to find out if he was right. right. And you click on it and it just comes up, no. Right. So it's a bit like one of those, um, like, is it so-and-so? There's lots of websites yeah. like that, aren't they? Like, is it Christmas.com, whatever? And it's like, yeah. no. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Pretty much, and it's like that's very funny. It seems like yeah, they're just taking the piss out. So is it quite a big group then, the Lincoln? I think so because I think I've heard of it before. Yeah. It does ring a vague, vague bell. Lincoln Project was it? Yeah. Hence why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> understandably. Yeah. Um, I mean, they have a quite a large following on Twitter. Two point seven million followers. So let's yeah. say that they are quite. <laughs> <laughs> substantial group then yeah yeah fair enough okay cool but, but it's yeah, quite funny that they're, they're taking laugh. the piss so like visibly yeah, <laughs> yeah. so no, there's not too much to say about that really because <laughs> like it is what it is it is what it is the answer is no <laughs> yeah is he president nope is he gonna be president no nope. no nope. <laughs> Does he want to be president at this point? Uh, <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. I think he wants the power, but I don't think he liked any of the roles. Oh, well, yeah, the there was a thing like, like apparently when he won the election, lots of people said he, he looked quite disappointed because like <laughs> he enjoyed the publicity of it. Yeah. But, um, he got elected was like, oh shit, now I actually need to. I can totally read. imagine that. And I, I've seen, I mean, he ne- <laughs> He always looks like he's been slapped around a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> to be honest. And not just because of his complexion, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like he doesn't, I don't think he ever looks particularly happy. So <laughs> I, no. maybe, I mean, and I'm picturing him as the president. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can totally get on board with that theory. There. <laughs> he was doing it for publicity and uh, yeah, he got publicity, but now um, he's completely out of favour with, well, everyone, not it, well, well no, but <laughs> all those uh, lovely ladies and gentlemen that <laughs> raided the Capitol that time. <laughs> I'm sure they're quite in favour of him, aren't they? Yeah, probably. Um but yeah, yeah uh, like there's <laughs> there's nothing new we're going to say about Donald Trump. So uh, the next one is Henry Cavill to star in The Rosie Project. Oh, so bit of Henry got, Cavill news. Very nice. Yeah. And an upcoming film with Project in Yay! the title. <laughs> Finally, it's happened. <laughs> I know. Um, so it's written, directed by a guy called Steve Falk, who I'm not quite familiar with. No, how's that spelled? F-A-U-L-K. F-A-L-K. F-A-L-K, right, okay. Um, it follows an unlucky in love university professor who creates an elaborate questionnaire in an effort to find a wife and meets an unconventional woman who doesn't match any of his requirements but might be the perfect woman for him. Right, and Henry Cavill's going to be in this... Yeah, he's the lead. Right, it doesn't sound right particularly I, groundbreaking. Uh, well, I was thinking, I can't imagine anyone looking like Henry Cavill <laughs> struggling to get a woman. Well, that as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was involved with Orange Is the New Black and Weeds. This right, man, Stephen Falk. 
um, if it's the same person. So yeah, he's he's had his hand in some hit TV shows um, and showrunner on You're the Worst, which um, <laughs> I don't know anything about, but is uh, on FXX. Yeah, for, from this, it seems like Henry Cavill might just be fancying a change from like doing action stuff. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, he's been, I mean, he's going to be in Witcher season two, which is yeah. coming out soon. He's not in any Superman There's for the probably, time being. probably still be something. He'll that, probably yeah. pop up again at some point. Because I know a, James Gunn was quite keen to work with him. I think yeah. we spoke about it last week, maybe. He did um, the uh, one of the Mission Impossible films, didn't he? He did, yeah. I haven't seen that one. I There's no. there's one before that that I haven't seen. I wanted to kind of go through them. In uh, he's also order. he's set to shoot the sequel to Enola Holmes. Oh, yes. I didn't see he that either. He plays... No. He's Sherlock. He's Sherlock, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. And then... Um, so it was actually not bad. I'd have it to it? be a yeah, bit yeah. shit, but is that I, entertaining? I'm conflicted. Uh, well, I'm not really that conflicted about Millie Bobby Brown. I think she's generally quite annoying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to go the other way, though. I, thought, I think she's really good. No, I, I, think, she's I, incredi- I think she's incredibly annoying. Um, I don't really have any opinions about but, her. Um, yeah, and that's the reason why I didn't watch it. And it's <laughs> because I watched the trailer and she's breaking the fourth wall and saying... I'm in Ola Holmes and this is yeah. I just thought, see oh, that's why I thought it was going to be shit but I I'd mean, say was, give it a watch yeah, like, yeah, see, I see mean, what you think may do yeah may do um, <laughs> he's all said I mean yeah what, that was a not, I'm not yeah, going to do that <laughs> the Godzilla film she's generally oh uh, yeah the first one she was not she's kind of forgettable I was going to say one of the worst parts of it but I mean all the Carl Chandler is also terrible in that as well. <laughs> I but mean, but as, as you've said many times secondary. before, like a lot yeah. of the human stuff in those films. Yeah, aren't I great mean, because... Godzilla Kong, I think, did quite a good job of um, balancing things quite well, and yeah. there's enough enough to keep things. Yeah, anyway, it's it's it really, um, really. But yeah, I, 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 I will consider watch if it's under two hours. I'll watch it. No, <laughs> <laughs> two hours, one minute. <laughs> no, nope, never watching it. Uh, but yeah, the the Rosie project is gonna start filming and start next year so ah, maybe, maybe it's 123 minutes <laughs> <laughs> literally two hours three minutes i guess i guess you're not watching a no well, homes i can cut off the last three minutes yeah, it'll probably just be crazy anyway. yeah um, rosie project uh yeah so i, I probably like uh 2023 20, release right okay and it's a series is it no a film it is a film so <laughs> It's been like in the That works. makes more sense. So I thought it was going to be like a... Because I think at the same time I was looking up... Anyway, that makes more sense. A romantic comedy yeah. with Henry Cavill makes more sense. I thought he was going to star on like a network TV show. It's kind of like but... surprising he's not done more like rom-com style. Yeah. He absolutely. seems like he'd be yeah. quite suited to it. Because he... Well, he was in um, Tudors, wasn't he? Before... Yeah, he was. That was one of his big... Like his kind of stepping stone roles, wasn't yeah. it? Really? I don't really know other than... I probably seen more than I can think of, but yeah. But I always think Henry Cavill. He seems like a really nice guy. Yeah. Off camera, well, still on camera, but off, <laughs> off the big, off the big. Well, you camera, know, in real life, on the small <laughs> camera. But you know, on social media is what I mean. He yeah. Seems like, he seems like quite a genuine guy, and in interviews, he's always very enthusiastic about the uh, about things everything. he's promoting and everything in between. Yeah. Cool. Um, that's something to yeah. So to them. that's that's. That's what we got. We we'll have that to look forward to in a couple of years. Yeah, hopefully we're still doing this and can have a big like. <laughs> we'll be dragging it out into uh, monthly things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that we can keep going until the Rosie Project. Although, to... having said that, how many more things did I find last week? It's about oh thirty God, something got, more. We've got. So, we, we've got <laughs> That's like, like another year. We've got years. Worth yeah, of we've got there. years and years of this stuff. <laughs> Just Don't depends, worry, we're not slowing down depends, anytime yet. It depends on whether we break <laughs> yeah. or whether you guys stop I think, listening I think, to it. Like the content will last longer than us <laughs> as it stands, I think. <laughs> Especially if you find 30 more every week. Yeah, well, I mean, it can only get to a certain point. And we, have, we, <laughs> we could always go back and watch like another episode of Blue Book. That's it, I mean, compared to some of the stuff that we've... <laughs> I mean, maybe, yeah, anyway, we'll get to this one in a sec, won't we? Um, yeah, any 
anything else on that or do you want to move no, on to the main no, that's, topic? No, that's just about it. Cool, um, cool. I hope you'll get more news as more stuff starts happening. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, we can do some updates on that maybe. Um, I mean, with a lot of things like that, once the casting and stuff's announced, it's not until uh, filming. And the only things that really yeah. get leaked from film things are like big franchises and superhero movies yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like so. costumes will be like Henry Cavill wearing a suit. <laughs> <laughs> with Ooh. a bunch of flowers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they might if it's filmed in like London or New York or something. There might be some street shots because people are generally interested in Henry Cavill. Yeah, but, but other than that, we can obviously report on that. Wouldn't <laughs> <it>? <laughs> yeah, I'll try and keep an eye on. <laughs> okay, cool. So, move to the main topic of the episode. So, as stated at the start, it was uh, Project MC Squared, which is a kids TV show about. Yeah, STEM Netflix science. series. Netflix. I've got the Google summary here. Yeah, please um, do hit us with it. Yeah. Four super smart teens band together to use their science skills to save the day. Mm-hmm. It's been, although I thought there was five of them. I know. I was because I, I've written down. I did a. <laughs> there wasn't much trivia to find up. No. <laughs> but I watched. Um, I watched a video that was supposed to be trivia and it turned out to just be showing what they look like at the start and the end of the recording, <laughs> which is why I was like, they look different in the thing. Yeah, we watched a trailer. We watched before. a trailer a minute I, I, ago. Um, it's, it's only like two years it was on for. But I think the video that I saw was like then and now. So they did right. look more different now because it's been like six years yeah. or whatever since... Um, well, it's been four years since the last episode, and that, but it hasn't officially been cancelled. No, that's what's weird, and I think they put out like six seasons. But when in was two when years. was season? Yes, yeah, so it was 2017. Was it that last yeah. one was released? Weird. Okay, so yeah. we we watched the last two episodes entirely, didn't we? Yeah, so it's season six, episode yeah. four and five. So I think by that point, I think from what I'd seen, they swapped out one of the characters. Yeah, so I think there was a girl. Um, so they're all girls who are in high school, I suppose, supposedly. Yeah. Um, even though, well, I don't know how old they were at the end, but they might have been too old. But that's the uh, kind of way the, that a lot the of these... lead girl, uh, is that Mika M- Abdullah, is that Michaela? Mc- Mc- it's spelled M- really in a really weird yeah, way. Yeah, Michaela McKenzie. Michaela. Um, she turned twenty-one this year. Right. Okay. So she would have been about. So the right she would have been then, that right, age. Because okay. I, I was, I was usually expecting with those sort of kind of shows, they're all like thirty. Yeah. But I think this actually were. I think some of them looked. Uh, it was hard to tell. They're like they're wearing weird costumes. Some yeah. of them have like massive makeup on and weird glasses and stuff. It's yeah. quite. It's supposed to be a bit like a, you know, like a, brats or like a wings yeah. or whatever or like totally spies or whatever. I don't know. It's like some yeah. sort of combination of these things. But um, yeah, so what's the, so there's five super smart. Well, like, it says four super, four super smart, four super smart girls, no, four super smart teens band together to use their science skills to save the day. Right. Okay. Which seems pretty much the gist Because it's of it. quite, I didn't look into it too much before watching that first episode. And I was very lost at the start. <laughs> um, yeah. Because like, it, I thought it was going right to be. in the middle of a whole thing. Yeah. I thought we, it was going to yeah. be individual episodes yeah individual me stories. too me too we should have probably watched ah could have, have. We, we jumped in and jumped yeah it started i was like well we've got a lot to <laughs> figure out here uh, one of my first notes is i'm so confused <laughs> but um yeah effectively each of the different girls is supposed to have a different speciality so one of them is tech one of them is an engineer one of them is yeah. a chemist um one of them's Texan. I don't know what <laughs> thing was. Um, yeah. Then there's a sister of the main girl. So, uh, oh yeah, she's she's probably number five. Cause she's not one of the four. Yeah, she's the she's five. just there because of the storyline. That's right. Yeah, and then they work for something called Innovate, which is spelled N O V eight, which is a yeah. a spy agency that deploys female government operatives to protect the world. And as we saw from that first, the trailer of season one that we watched, yeah, um, she moves to the high school. They're all suspicious of her. And then quite quickly, they all seem to be working with the spy agency together. Yeah. And then from then on, they just, I imagine they're doing missions. Yeah. It's, Pretty standard kind of yeah, kids TV not stuff. Like really. too much. Like it's, it's a, it's a kids show. It's <laughs> yeah. a teenage girl show for Netflix. Basically. Yeah. I mean, the idea as well with the whole STEM science thing is I think there's supposed to be each episode has some sort of little experiment that they do to save the day. Yeah. These ones didn't massively. They had the water bit. But they have, they still but have they like, refer to stuff. Yeah. It is still quite science based and 
even yeah. like a lot of the time when they talk about science, they um they kind of explain in the like the scientific process of yeah, what they're doing. It's actually very it's almost linked to what we talked about last episode with Ithaca, where there's lots of technical mumbo jumbo. It's it's like that, but but simplified and yeah. you're supposed to be able to follow it's, it kind of thing. They actually go the lengths yeah, to explain it's clearly stuff. meant for like teenage girls to get into science. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually um there's a there's a toy line that goes along with it. Yeah. Did you I see heard. that? Um, and I looked it up and maybe we can have, if we've got time at the end, have a quick look through some of them, but they're like experiment <laughs> kits and stuff. Yeah. And it's all like in a kind of spy kit way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it looks like it wasn't, I, I imagined originally like um, figures of them, <laughs> like brat dolls and Barbie <laughs> dolls. Because they, you know, because they do wear like crazy outfits. And yeah. in the trailers, they seem to have about five different hair It seems like they'd be uh, missing the point a bit though. <laughs> yes, yeah. So it does make more sense that way. Um, and the tagline is, smart is the new cool, which we yeah. saw in that trailer. Um, which, you know, yeah, it's a good message, but um, it's yeah. a little bit on the nose. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, <laughs> the only actual cast member I recognize, because most of them are obviously teenage unknown, was Danica McKellar, who plays the quail, who you briefly see at the end of the yes, episode. Yes, I recognize her too. Where where did you... Uh, she's in a couple of episodes of How I Met Your Mother, uh, which Christine has just watched through. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about She plays about a it, character called they? Trudy. Right. In that, who literally, uh, I love Interest of Ted at some point yeah 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 she rings a bell i'm looking at a picture of her now yeah i did think i recognized her but she looks like a couple of different famous actresses as yeah well. but yeah yeah so that's interesting um young justice as well apparently which is the young dc show yeah she's a voice on that um cool okay yeah yeah and any of the other people no not not really um i mean most of the wikipedia pages yeah um, i thought maybe the uh the guy who ends up being the bad guy, he looked a bit familiar, yeah. but I couldn't really. When I looked him up. I couldn't see anything on his on his thing. Yeah, um, there was. Um, sorry, <laughs> I wrote down the name. I'm not quite sure if I can. Bobby read Stone my... is what the actress called. Yeah, uh, Janaea Walton, who was one of the girls, one of the main girls. I've got to picture that one. Oh who... yeah, yeah. Who looked like she was like the famous one almost. Like she. Like she had like different friends and stuff. No, about. I think she was. She might be actually. <laughs> what was her character's name? Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to find <laughs> the characters all have really funny names. So yeah, they do. They've got we've got Michaela McAllister, Adrienne Atoms, which yeah. is spelled with two T's, Cameron Coyle, Bryden Bandwidth. Which she is plays, like she plays Bryden Bandwidth. Yeah, yeah. So she was the one who was. Um, like had different friends and she they all made yeah. up at the end and stuff. Ember Evergreen, Devon DeMarco, Maddie McAllister. So it's all very like Peter Parker, Bruce Banner. Yeah. But a lot of those surnames are, are like um science like atoms. plays, atoms, <laughs> band wet, yeah, uh, evergreen. But yeah, that uh Janaya Walton yeah. is in Black AF. Oh which yeah, yeah. I think I've um, I've, I've not watched it, it, but yeah, I yeah. think people are quite into it. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm DB 6.1, Rotten Tomatoes 85. Right, so okay. the highest Rotten Tomatoes score, but obviously it's... I mean, also it depends on who's rating it, doesn't it, basically? Yeah, and I mean, like, it's, it's a kid's TV show. You can imagine kids getting passionate about it and... All just people being like, yeah, this is good for kids. Approve. Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. True. I mean, the whole... um. Back, you know, the whole message of getting into science. Yeah, you can't in STEM, really criticize it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> we've obviously got a unique perspective in a lot of ways because both we watched the last two episodes of the season. Yeah. <laughs> and because we're, and we're obviously not the target audience. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, any numbers or anything that you found? No, there? not it's really. It's a series. It's, it's a bit. A, it's a Netflix series. So. so both series is a bit harder to find things yeah. like the Blue Book, but also Netflix, Netflix are a stuff. bit shady in that sense, aren't they? Yeah, they don't like people. I mean, it know. looked, um, I think it looked fairly cheap to me yeah like the I'd cameras agree. you can when you can tell sometimes 
when something's clearly like made for TV kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, it didn't really. Not even just the like shot composition. Uh, I was thinking stuff, the. But... Uh, we'll get to it, but the award ceremony. Yeah, when there's like, clearly like I, nobody. I had no idea whether it was like a like a high school awards or like a national. Yeah, awards. yeah, exactly. Like... Yeah, it reminded me very much of. Um, did you ever watch? Uh, it was something on on BBC or CBBC, like MI High or something. It's very oh, I similar. I recognise the name. And it's like they it. worked at a school. Oh, they 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 were kids at a school, and they were rec- actually you know who was the guy who recruited them. It's um. Did you ever watch Red Dwarf? Yeah, the cat guy. Right. He was yeah. like their spy master guy, and it was very <laughs> similar. It was a rotating cast of like yeah. was a girl and two boys, two girls and a boy, that kind of thing. It wasn't quite as sciencey as this, but it was. I I remember watching it um, <laughs> vague times, and it's almost the same show, just oh, made in England. Enough. So, um, not entirely original, maybe, but um, yeah. So, uh, shall we move into the the episode? Yeah, the episodes so episode watched. four was titled. Water from a Bobby Stone. That's correct, yeah. Which yeah. I guess is a play on like Blood from a Stone, but yes. the character's called Bobby Stone and he sells water, so... Yeah, it also came up as a family family saying. Did you hear that bit? We'll oh, yeah. It. But not the Bobby Stone, it was just, oh, something as water from a stone. It's yeah. Like, That's... I mean, obviously, the yeah, the expression is blood from a stone, so it's not but really... But I guess he's, if he's selling water. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, the first thing I wrote down was that I appreciate how it's got a really short intro. I was going to say I hope for a longer theme. <laughs> oh, no, it's like five seconds straight intro. Because I was, I was like, like, yeah, okay. Perfect. And then there was the the whole song at the very end. Yeah. To hear that, yeah. I mean, but I'm it, glad we didn't have that every time, but like, you know, like a 10... No, nah, yeah. I like it. Just, just straight into <laughs> just it. Straight in. And then there's my second note. I'm so confused. Um, so what's going on at this point? They're all like... So like, they're, they're in like their... So you, the main girl, Michaela, has got like a secret lab in her house. Yes. And they were all kind of in there and they're like, they're all panicking because they found something out and, <laughs> and they don't know what. And I've also written down like some some of the delivery of the lines like genuinely Oh yeah, the acting off. is bad. I've got it's bad, re- bad, bad acting. <laughs> yeah. And like there's the Texan girl who... Yeah. It always seems to forget to do a southern accent. Yeah, <laughs> like, it just comes and goes. The whole thing through the sentence, she's like, y'all. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Wait. And there's just a random Spanish girl that's with them. And yeah. I couldn't figure out where she was supposed to be from. And then right at the end, they say something about Spanish accent. Yeah, she's, um, not, she's not played by a Spanish actress. Is she not? She's American. Wow, okay. That's very interesting. I'm pretty sure anyway. Yeah, okay. What, I'll look up while you carry on. But yeah, but yeah, I'm so confused. I've got how many of these girls are related because they're talking about their dad being in prison. Yeah. And eventually you figure out there's two that look very similar with yeah. dark hair. Um, but yeah, it's, they, I think they all say dad at different times. Maybe yeah. just, it's very confusing, but, but yeah. basically the dad, they find out that the dad of the main of these two girls, the McAllisters or whatever they're called, yeah. was potentially framed for something. Framed. They, they they thought that like he'd done something bad and was going against this like and they'd never local seen, hero. They'd never like known him since they were no, younger or something No, I thought like he was that. dead. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't really until know. Until we see him. I don't think we know until he yeah. is brought, <laughs> brought along later on. But yeah, this kind of local hero does loads of environment, turns out to be a bit of a dick and is framing their dad for it. <laughs> yeah. Is the gist of that, right. that start. Uh, oh, she's Miami born, but she's Brazilian American. Oh, okay. So my, my mistake. But then so I did. I to be fair, I did. I was thinking. You know what? I thought Portuguese for some reason. Uh, so that actually they... maybe was a little bit closer if it's the Brazilian accent she was going for there. But um, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So they they figured out this. They talk about there was clues being sent. And they kind of ignored them because they didn't yeah. trust the dad. So I guess they did know that he was potentially alive. Um, and I'm yeah, I'm saying, where is everyone from? This is very much a Disney kind of style show. I was thinking yeah. as well. Like it wouldn't have been out of place on the Disney Channel. No, no. Um, in any way. I so. I was thinking like, oh, uh, Christina would probably watch this. <laughs> I watched I watched a fair amount of TV shows of her. Yeah, I mean, I think along th- these lines. <laughs> Oh, I've got. I hate this <laughs> straight away. I, I never, I never hated it. I was just kind of like because I watched it this morning about eight a.m., um, <laughs> which is the earliest I've watched any of these. Um, I was in bed, <laughs> had a cup of coffee, um, and I was just thinking. This, I think it was just because they were all just talking so much. It is, and like that, especially the first ten minutes. Yeah, is so fast what, paced. Yeah, I mean, this is very. <laughs> this is. 
This is in the first three, three minutes. minutes or so. This, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's someone says every slimy snail leaves a trail. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I was going to write, write that down. Yeah. Um, and then there's the the notepad, which is like the AI assistant. Yeah. Which is called who like Addison, Addison. but it's spelled a. It's like an acronym like Jarvis A D I S N. I think. It oh, is. Okay. Um, who literally never, never comes out of Michaela's arm. She's constantly No, she's carrying. got a notepad, but she's got like a normal book. And inside there's just an iPad in there. Yeah. And then there's just this emoji on the screen, which just talks to them. Which is like which is quite, It's a bit like a, yeah, it's a Tony Stark kind of thing. And it turns out the bad guy also has one called Miles. Yeah, which seems more to be just like a house controls. Like, yeah. Like yeah. almost... Um, one of those Amazon, th- uh, Amazon yeah, like thing. an Alexa kind Alexa. of thing, yeah. But uh, it's it's played off as almost yeah. a Jarvisy thing as well, yeah. isn't it? Because he's got a, like a posh English accent, yeah. And he's like, hello, sir. Um, yeah. So more, so yeah more I've got kind of like intelligent AI. <laughs> got talking emoji, notepad, cringe. <laughs> um, yeah, I was like, I've got oh, a bit lost because okay. it moves quite quickly at this point because the two yeah. sisters. Well, go they, to try and go they to, first they, they all go to the cafe to figure out their plan. That's right. They're all tired because they've all been working all night or something. Yeah, There's, I think the disco or the mask ball or whatever had been that night, which we see in the trailer. Yeah. So they've just had some revelations. They found some stuff and then they've gone to this place like, it, and they're like, "Let's meet in the morning." As we kind of said, like these episodes all just go back to back into yeah, into one it another. Could be, so it's basically like a two two and a bit hour movie if you watched it all in one yeah. go, isn't it? Um, um, which, which I, I mean, they're, they're like twenty minutes. It's six episodes a season. That's oh yeah, two so hours. Yeah, yeah. You could you could watch it. It'd be a ridiculously fast paced movie. Yeah, and that's I think that's where part of this bad acting impression comes from as well because they do you know credit to them they'd have to deliver a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. Yeah, and I don't imagine that the like directors or anything particularly worried about so you know the point of those bits is to get the get the info get the information across and get on with the story. it's almost just a little recap for anybody who's actually watched it. yeah we're like the complete anomaly here and that it's not <laughs> just picked it up at that point especially on netflix because on a on a streaming show there's almost no reason for you to start jumping in at the end of a series no on a tv show that's on networks or whatever cable the reason why they do previously on is because you may be tuning you may, in yeah, you may for that episode, episode, which is still madness. And I was talking to someone about this recently. I don't think, I mean, probably if there's something that I really don't care about on TV, yeah, maybe I'll watch a bit of it. But I don't think I've ever just started a TV show in the middle of it. No, I think it's although just, it just on the other side, I was when I was, I was on Reddit yesterday, it's talking about best TV show endings. Someone mentioned Friends, right? And someone said they they've seen it many times, but they remember. And it first aired that finale. Yeah, yeah. And they had a power outage when, you know, when <laughs> Ross gets home and is listening to the answer yeah, well, phone. He had a power so. outage then. <laughs> and he said he had to call his mum the next day to find out what happened. And I was like, Jesus Christ, we're in such a different time now. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Could so... you imagine? Yeah. Well, I remember it coming on. I don't know how quickly it came to the UK after it was on, but I remember watching that. And I'd only watched bits and pieces. I must have been very young, probably around 10, give or take. It finished in 2004, so. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's about right then. Yeah. Yeah. A bit older. Um, But yeah, and I hadn't watched much. And for some reason, it was just this big thing. I think my dad wanted to watch it or something. I can't remember. (laughs) But I think it was like with the 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 cultural impact was quite yeah a, exactly. A, a, I don't aware really, of it. I remember watching like the old episodes as a kid. But I didn't but I, I imagine it would have come a bit later to us at that point. Yeah, what I'm thinking. But who knows? It might have been later. Anyway, yeah. so anyway, so they 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 realized to get this evidence against Bobby Stone, yeah. the the supervillain, to yeah, save their yeah. dad. He's like the local hero, but he's not, as you said, yeah. kind of like a mogul guy. They need to go to yeah, his I'm not house. Really, I wasn't really clear. Let's go to his house and activate so Miles. The, so two of the girls need to go. They're the sisters. Yeah. At the same time, the one who is not friends with them anymore, Bryden, yeah. who's the, who I thought was kind of like a famous one for some reason, but I think she's just popular yeah. in the school. She's dressed up quite like wackily. Like, <laughs> wackily. Um, wackily. Um, and they're talking about like a school. Oh, no, it's... um. It's the big presentation Young thing. Voice Awards. Awards. And they say, did you get the favorite bands? <laughs> Said all our favorite bands are gonna be there. Oh yeah. Slow fact <laughs> slow fracture, molten disco, wet leather. 
Wet leather. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bloody hell. That's uh, there's some good ass names. And there's another one that comes up later with yeah. their kind of ruse, which I thought was quite funny, actually. Um, um, and there's some event, and the one that's got dyed red hair, who is Cameron, spelt C A M R A R Y N. I should have mentioned Cameron just spelt funnily. <laughs> yeah, I think it is Cameron. Um, she can't. She says she can't go. She's got family stuff. So yeah, she, she, her, and this but, other one have had some sort of. They're, they're out. apparently like BFFs. Yes, as we find out from a nice acronym in the second episode. Um, and yeah, yeah. so that's at, all set at, up. at this point, I've written down this is clearly for teenage girls. Yes. <laughs> I've written down. Why does this Spanish girl have different glasses? <laughs> <laughs> she do her. She does have like really over the top glasses. Yeah, because like I think she had her dance, her like school dance glasses with like fake diamonds on them. Yeah, and then the next one she's got. I, some see, other I just ones. assume she just wore them. The yeah, them. I don't know. And then there's some pinky promise thing where they all hold pinkies or something. Yeah, I don't really understand that. I missed the. So then they put their action to plan and Michaela and her sister go to Bobby Stone's house. Yes. Whilst two of them others are doing like a school like survey. So they're trying to find out why, because Bobby Stone sells this water that's really popular. It's bottled water called Stone Water. Yeah. And they, they do this like a blind taste test thing. Yeah, and there's mean, A or B and it's this very dramatically edited thing. Where yeah. it's people pointing at it and drinking the oh, water. It's basically like, it's, a, what, B. What's the difference? The, the, water, yeah. the stone water or the tap water? Um, and they, Turns out they're the same. And they basically find out, yeah, that there's no, that somehow they get 50 50, which is still statistically unlikely, even if they are the same thing. But they get a thing and they find out, we skip ahead with these guys, they find out it's basically the yeah, same thing. Yeah, I did thing. write here actually nice science stuff. Like, I thought, like, yeah, I mean, that's quite a good The actual yeah, science yeah. stuff's quite. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that. I think, I imagine in other episodes, there's, you know, maybe more involved science things, because that yeah. was quite a minor part of this whole story, but it was... But showing, like, scientific experiments, like... Yeah, yeah, like... And then getting your results. Yeah, and, yeah, and they said, we need to check these results and stuff, so they kind of go back to it. Um, yeah, yeah, and at the same time, the sisters find out that the, the iPad can do Bobby Stone's voice. So he can yeah. get into the thing, basically. Um, and they've hacked, like, his cameras and they see him, like, running on a treadmill. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we'll just, you know, <laughs> make it so he can't leave there. And then, you know, break it. They... they <laughs> They, they turn it up. They break so, the law so often they, in this. They turn it up so it's like 60 miles an hour. Yeah. Or don't they? And surely he would just fly off. Right. And then they'd just leave it. And then he talks, they talk to Jarvis, which is Miles. Miles. And they say, oh, I've cut my exercise short. And he's like, oh, we're going to take dessert off the menu then today, are we? <laughs> yeah. It's like, he's just like stuck on this treadmill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they want to find details. About, oh, they said like, there's something about his dad being sent money to frame him. For yeah, the, that's right. So they know the the dad that. supposedly, I think, embezzled funds from the university or something like yeah. that, or the company or some scholarship or something. Um, so they know there's some sort of paper trail they can follow. So they go in, they try different passwords, they try the daughter's name, which and I was like, why would it obviously be just one word? And then the mum of Stone tries to call. Yeah. And the Jarvis thing, Miles is like, oh, yeah. should we answer or should we use the same excuse kind of thing? It's very much like busy guy, can't talk to his mum. Yeah. And then um, she says like one thing and they're like, oh, sorry, going through a tunnel. I'm like, hang yeah, on. Yeah. But, but she says the family expression, she says it's like getting water from a stone kind yeah. of thing with you. Um, and then they go, oh, well, that's obviously the thing. Yeah. And they fake the tunnel thing, which apparently is a thing that he does to his mum all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he does a fake tunnel noise. Um, and then they use the family stay- saying and they... Water from the stone and it, it unlocks. And yeah, they. it turns out that he paid Maxwell McAllister, the dad, to frame him. Um, yeah. So he sent money from a Swiss bank account. And yeah. when they see the statement later, it just says Swiss bank account at the top. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like, this girl gets her phone out and takes a picture of yeah. this thing. And I'm like, you're not going to be able to read any of that. But they also said, how do you want it printed or PDF? And they went, oh, printed, please. I'm pretty sure. And then it just comes up. But it takes ages to come up. Oh, yeah. And while it's coming up, this No Regrets guy. <laughs> yeah, he's called No Regrets. He's got a tattoo on his arm that says No yeah, Regrets. Yeah, and we saw in the trailer that that's like a bit of a plot point earlier but, on. 
<laughs> it made me laugh because like he's coming up the lift like oh let's let's stall it oh this is so this is quite funny actually. this is actually <laughs> my favorite part of the episode because one of them then is dressed up as an old lady but and, oh it's the clothes and a gray hair and like a wrap thing big glasses but her, yeah it's, it's face... very like that so raven sort of thing yeah it's very yeah like which she does like thing. every episode and she like she Crump, crump, she, what did you say? She, Bumbles in. Yeah, what? and she's like, "Oh, I think I'm going to number five. Yeah. Oh, is it number seven? But she keeps <laughs> or dropping. Maybe it's number the, nine. It was funny before that. She kept dropping her stick while the door shut. Yes, the, but what made me laugh as well is that like. They get her to go and stall. Yeah, and then they and, just and then they're just watching her <laughs> exactly in the lift. And it's like, surely the whole purpose is they're that... just watching it on the screen yeah. while we are as well. And it's like, why don't you, you know? And then when that's all finished, then they go, Oh, Miles, can you do this for us? And it's <laughs> yeah. like you could have been. But what was the point of portable that? Yeah. But it was it was quite it funny. It was very funny. Because like, that the regrets guy is just like yeah, he like cracks his neck at one point. And he's like, just like being this the third time. But she's obviously so obviously like he's looking at her. She's she's obviously not she's an not old got woman. like a wrinkle on her. <laughs> but the third time she dropped her stick, it did yeah, make me laugh. Was I was funny, like, yeah, this that is, was this funny. Is good. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, the statement turns up on the screen. She takes a picture, and no regrets. Guy turns up just as they leave. Not sure how they leave, but they just they get yeah. out. Um, and I've got why did they? When did they plan this old lady theme? Because it didn't seem no. Nope, she just appeared there as an old lady, and then she's in the old lady costume later, and it's she's making another joke as if she's yeah. an old lady. Um, but they, 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 they have a moment as well where they're like, oh, we never not got to know our dad after he was framed. So it seems like he's been gone. Yeah, for like their long, adult. Long like, not adult, but like, you know, non, like teenage life kind of thing yeah. at least. Maybe, maybe more. Uh, um, they, they find out as well that then Bobby Stone isn't just like selling this tap water. He's like literally stealing it from the town's water supply. Yeah, and so there's like a them. underground, what do you call it? Like a... Uh, like a pipe system or something. Right? Yeah, but I think it's like the fresh oh, water of just yeah. like, like the plate water or whatever you call it. I can't remember. But yeah, they look on the... Because they figured out from the blind test thing, they've done like a scientific analysis as well. And it says it's 100% they've match broken, with the tap water. Yeah, they've broken down the actual like elements. The molecular, molecular yeah. composition. Um, and yeah, and they look on the map and they see that the fresh water supply underground goes past like his, factory. his factory. And they realize that... He's basically been um, just stealing pumping water. it out and selling it back to people. Yeah, it's also there's a big water shortage in the town. At the that's moment. right. There's so some that's sort why of he's drought. made up to be a hero because he's there's a water shortage and, and he's, he's providing all this water, water for them. Uh, I'm sure a very cheap price, but it's still their free water that they should be getting from the yeah. tap kind of thing. I've written down at this point. Bobby Stone is Nestle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely true, and also Coca Cola, I think. Yeah, probably potentially i know there's some controversy with coca-cola in i think central america maybe mexico yeah there's um yeah where the water supply is basically replaced by coca-cola and it's just it's like, despicable yeah. basically but um, <laughs> and i've got a comment here the acting in this dot 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 you know what to say <laughs> oh yeah like even like the adults are pretty bad as well. yeah i mean bobby stone later is Really bad. He's a villain. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> the best guy is that no regrets guy. She never says a word. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah. So they, they they got a plan. They sneak up to his yeah. water pumping facility. And the Texan girl goes into a whole thing about she wants to hog tie a driver and then steal it. And then yeah. someone says, "Well, I don't have the right license to drive a truck." And yeah, like, that's the only reason like, oh, why yeah. you shouldn't but do Kayleigh, that. You could drive the lorry because you can drive. It's like, no, I've got a license. It's like, oh, okay, I guess we can't hog tie this guy then. <laughs> and then the girl's like, damn it. <laughs> like, she's and supposed then, to be a bit like crazy, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then they're like, oh, let's just jump on the back of the lorry. Yeah. And they're like, like okay. okay. And then they easily just get in. <laughs> it's so and then they're all wearing jumpsuits from the stone water supply place. Yeah. But. So, but so, so if anyone sees these teenage girls, they obviously don't work there anyway. So yeah. there's more, any point in it. I don't think they needed to bother like getting them changed because they're sneaking around anyway. Well, like, that's the whole point. Yeah, but then they get caught almost immediately. Yeah. Um, they and, yeah he catches them and then they he's up on the galley thing and he's gantry or whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah, and he's platform. he's kind of going off and say like yeah I did all that. But and all the his guards like start surrounding. Yeah, they're like who stuff. who are they going to believe me the the local hero or yeah. a bunch of teenage girls? I'm like they're gonna believe the person with proof like they've got evidence as well yeah like, he's, he's, he's quite confident he also said like i've got the stone tv network people That's believe true. What yeah because we hear about that earlier on um, so, so he's something. he's nestle and rupert murdoch yeah. at this point <laughs> <laughs> 
And he, um, what does he say? He They mentioned that it's 500 gallons a minute, which is so much water. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. It mm. sounds like a lot to me, but he's basically like drying the town out. Um, yeah. And then they're like, oh, we'll expose you. And he's like, no, you won't, because look who I've got. But before that, though, quickly, he says, I suggest you do what you do best. Be cute. And I thought well, this is a, a bit, bit weird. weird. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be like just mm. I think it's supposed to be like be girls, like yeah. it's like the anti message of it. It's like you don't you don't want to do yeah. science, just go be cute. But I was yeah. like, mm. bit weird. This middle aged <laughs> man is calling these teenage girls cute. But yeah, yeah anyway, the big reveal. The big the, reveal uh, is that yeah. he's he's kidnapped the dad. Like the dad's been missing for like what seems like ten years or something. Yeah, that's uh, it right, turns out yeah. like he's just been a hostage of Bobby Stone. Yeah, uh, seemingly kind of well dressed and well groomed for a man that's been kidnapped. Yeah, for I mean 10 he's years. got a bit of a beard, but it's more of a fashion thing than anything. Yeah, like a stylized. I beard. think he's wearing a suit as well. Yeah, he? it's like, it looks like they literally just picked him up. Yeah, yeah. But, so I don't really know what's going on there. And then that's kind of the cliffhanger ending of the episode. They well, they kind of say he says like we'll kill. Well, they threaten that yeah. something's going to happen to the dad if they don't just go along with it, basically. And yeah. then they just get escorted out. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's the end of the episode, which is kind of. like yeah like if they've pressed like he's he's kind of said to them like i haven't broken any laws you've broken in you have broken yeah, yeah, the law and i was like point. to be fair as he says that it's legal for him to pump water from his own land yeah. but i think he is diverting so he's he's going a little bit extra yeah. off on top it's but. one of those he's not breaking the law but the law's wrong so sort of yeah yeah it's it's it's, it's unethical what he's doing yeah, yeah and they just get escorted out and then this is when i took a couple hour break <laughs> and a couple of things to sort out oh no i was like because it's only like 20 minutes i was like just yeah go straight yeah. into the next one so the next episode is called a family affair yeah um and it starts where they're kind of a bit pissed off about the situation aren't they yeah i've i've written at this point as well that this series is more continuous than expected because like it's literally just yeah watching yeah. it back to back as well like, yeah well they're just back at the lab or something aren't yeah they, it literally yeah. just carries on next scene and they, they're talking as if like yeah and that's why we found on. that lot the first episode so compu- confusing yeah because it's supposed to follow on it directly. just follows on and that's what i say about streaming stuff it's it's meant to be binge watch really anything on netflix is isn't it so yeah um well anything that's not a weekly release but most things are yeah. Aren't they? um yeah, yeah that, that, that there's like, the revelation <laughs> that the ais are now dating yeah so it's quite funny they, they need to find out where the dad's being held yeah and addison their ai says yeah. oh i've been chatting to miles they've created a private network which yeah. is like they're they're linking up in and some like way. he would know she was like, I'll oh, call him. And he comes up and he's got his own emoji now. Yeah, and but she puts her lipstick, her emoji she, has lipstick on before she yeah. talks to him, which is quite <laughs> funny. And then when they finish talking, one of them says CPU later. Yeah, I wrote that down as well. <laughs> There's a couple of but little like, puns later on. Miles is like, no, like he's my boss. And then uh, they're like, Asimov's first law of robotics <laughs> is don't hurt people. And our dad's going to get hurt. And he's like, yeah, okay. And gives them like the location. The thing of their is dad. about that is that why would robots have to, I know this is it's a big thing, but why would robots ever have to follow that? It's a science fiction author's thing. Yeah, right. I mean, unless every person who creates an AI implants that into the thing. I mean, is the, but, like, is the purpose. That's achievement that like every single person is gonna be like, right, we need to follow Asimov's yeah, law. Because it's robotics. a law for a fictional thing. Yeah. Which is set in the future and it's, you know, science fiction short story. Well, I think it's multiple short yeah, stories. Yeah, a lot of people have just gone with it. But. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, you know, it works for lots of things. It, it kind of works in this situation, but. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's it's kind of put in there just for them to be like, here's a smart thing for yeah, us. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's one of the only really, I mean, there's a couple of bits here and there in the second episode, but that. That's one of the most kind of sciencey bits. Yeah, I feel one, like it, really? as they get to like the climax of the series, they just they can't have with... time to do as much yeah. of the sciencey stuff. Although I do think that they could have maybe when they're trying to rescue the dad later, they kind of do some bits. But do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but he just it's, rushes through it, kind of. Thing. It's more brute force than science at the end. <laughs> yes, it is, and I was a bit surprised by that, but we will get yeah. to that. Um, is um, this when they go to the event? So yeah, they're like <laughs> which um, is quite funny. Here, here's the. Uh, here's the location. Like, right, we're gonna yeah. go to the young voice awards and like expose Bobby Stone. So, what was it they needed from Miles? The location of the dad. 
So like, if we're going to expose right, him, okay. we need to know where the dad is so, so we, can we can go can save help. him because yes, he's okay, like, I'm yeah, going to yeah. kill that him. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and that's when they turn up to the award ceremony, the awards. Yeah, and they're like, oh, we're the we're undercover. And, and they're like, like what? dressed like they're clearly dressed up. And they're like, oh, the new band undercover that's playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. Um, yeah. And yeah. then the guy, they have to convince the guy. The guy doesn't believe it. And they do, they like, oh, oh. we'll do what we they're like, we've been touring around <laughs> Europe, we've been selling out everywhere. Yeah, and this is the Spanish girl goes, I picked up this Spanish accent because yeah. I've been there for so long. And it's like, okay. <laughs> and then they're like, we'll play one of the songs. Oh, this and, is the worst uh, bit. It is absolutely terrible. They've and, got like almost, they've got like a sensitive, like a air bongos thing that's yeah, supposed to be some sort and of like synth. like an air guitar thing that actually does play. It's like play. the, um, what's the thing that, um, oh, yeah. You know, it's goes, like goes, tre- Trelamone or something like that. Yeah. Trelamone. Um, it's always, it seems to be in Big Bang Theory all the time. He was always going <laughs> yeah. on about it. Trelamone. Um, yeah. Instrument. It's quite cool. It's like it's a pole that you when you move your hand close to it makes like different sounds. Yeah, I think Biffy Clyro used it on one of their albums. <laughs> I can't find it here, but anyway, I've searched the wrong thing. But yeah, they <laughs> they do this song, which and is like so, thirty seconds long. Yeah. It's one of the worst. It's ever the most crazy. And like most thing. of it is them just going, "We're undercover. We're <laughs> undercover." <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and they're all chanting, and this is this is the beginning. And also, of lots like, of chanting in this episode. There's not much. Uh, they're not very good singers. They're not good singers. They clearly not got actual instruments. I yeah. mean, there's a bit of noise coming, and there's some like air drum noises and stuff. It's just it's, them screaming, "We're undercover!" And it's like, We're undercover. Yeah, it's, it's, I I I like that joke because I think that's very silly because they're shouting this. <laughs> they're undercover to this yeah. guy. But I just, it, yeah. The, the song is terrible. Um, and he's still like, no, but then their friend who's going to yes, win the Brendan award. Brendan or Brandon Bryden. Yeah, Bryden. he comes out and was like, yeah. oh, undercover, you're here. Mr. Stone's been waiting for you. She's like, I'm your biggest fan. Huh? Yeah. And the guy's like, Mr. Stone, I don't want to disappoint him. Yeah. And it's just, it's, it's it's that trope that we keep seeing in these films. And I think it's the most common one that somebody just convinces someone of something really easily. And yeah, it's just so it stu- seems to be like so the stupid. running theme for this podcast. It really is. It's like, like it's been in so many things. It's like oh, get easily convinced. Whether it's do. like someone's boss, like in Project Power, or like whether yeah. it's the other, pl- you know, it's all like the bad. It's got, all, like it's constant. Just they're just like there's like a slight pushback where they go oh no I don't believe you and then they say another thing or someone yeah. else joins in it's like okay I'll give you like, unlimited resources what, what if we watch like a modern kids TV show like yeah, in, that's what, an yeah. 80s like science show like it's it seems to be just a running I think trope. it's because it might be quite hard to realistically portray someone being convinced yeah. um, especially if you're short on time it as might well. be as odd that like once we noticed it in like it might be Project Tower that we first mentioned it. I think it might have been, yeah. It might have, it might have Maybe even been in Dinosaur, Dinosaur Project, Project. I don't but know. Since then, like, now I just noticed it, like, every time. Like, yeah, totally. Say, like, so easily convinced. And, uh, yeah, and then they go into the place. Yeah. And the bad guy just spots Michaela he's immediately. Saying, he's like, and he's oh. like, oh, I'm glad you've come around. Because she's like, I'm just here to support you kind of thing. My it's friend. like, what? He's just let her just, like, hang out in the place where, like, Stuff's yeah. happening. Like he tries like intimidate a bit. Yeah, but, but it like, doesn't really. <laughs> yeah, and then the the award show starts. <laughs> this, is the other... <laughs> this is what I've written. Like it's hard to work out how big this award yeah, show I, is. I because like it seems like it might be like an like an MTV awards thing or Teen yeah, Choice Awards. I think that's what it's supposed. But to like be. and like they've just toured around Europe, so they might... they haven't though. No, no, but <laughs> right, but that's okay. the story they're going with to be believable as yeah, potential yeah, yeah. act playing there. But it seems like they're at a high school and there's like, what, like 30 who, people okay. in the crowd? And who is this Jack Splat guy? Oh, yeah. So he's <laughs> the guy who gets the first award. And, I, and he's like a prank guy. Yeah, he's he like just, some arsehole who just squirts with just squirts, And like there's this guy who's in love with the main character. They're yeah. kind of having a heart to heart. And he just like <laughs> shoots like paint at him and it's like, ha ha ha. It just interrupts it. He's like, so I've got a big arsehole. <laughs> um, yeah, there's this, yeah, there's this reconnection with the lead girl. Yeah, and it gets interrupted. And then um, Brynden or Bryden or Yeah, Bryden. she wins the best young voice. Yeah, yeah. And she starts doing like an emotional speech, making up, with the Texan girl. That's right, yeah. So I, they, I can't remember. Oh, no, it's not. It's the other one, the red-haired one, who's not there. 
Or she is oh, there. Yeah. Or she is yeah. there because they're going there for the plan, but she wasn't going to go there originally. Yeah. Kind of um, and then she starts like exposing Bobby yeah, Stone. But the big revelation is that plastic bottles are bad for the environment, which everyone knows anyway. Yeah. And they start showing all these pictures of like, like landfills yeah. of plastic bottles. And like and the be- like... beaches. It's like, that's not specific to Bobby Stone. No. But, you know. They don't really go into the, the the new details they found out, but she's she's embarrassing him, and he's like, yeah. "Oh no, we've got to shut this down." Kind of. And thing. Like, they kind of go off, and like, I thought she'd finish, but it goes back, and she's still talking on stage. Well, because then, yeah, because then Stones like release the gas or whatever, yeah, and then just like what um, we find out later, but it's like poison gas starts. And just we coming. we've also <laughs> felt at this point that Michaela has committed yet another crime and stolen his watch. <laughs> right, yes, because there's a flashback where he she does very obvious sleight of hand and just yeah. pulls his watch off. Um when she um, met Yeah, him it's funny because like she's like Bobby Stone's like, I'm gonna gas your dad, and they're like surprised. I'm like, What what why are you surprised? But, no, but they don't but she doesn't he doesn't say that. It's only after this bit that they look on the yeah, thing, like, they just see the like, what? And I was like, what were you expecting? But this is what I was confused about with the location as well, because I thought he was just in another bit. Because they get there really quickly. But they also just like go to a farm <laughs> somewhere well, as well. Yeah, don't well they, they go to a farm. <laughs> the green screen is oh, yeah. atrocious. But yeah, um, um then the, the, the before, chanting. The yeah. Ch- <laughs> so the the girl that's won the award ends her speech by get everyone to chant, take it from the tap. Yeah. Take it from the tap. And everyone's take doing it, it from the tap. <laughs> everyone gets and in on it. The Second big chanting thing, um, and there's at least one more later on. <laughs> yeah, take it from the duck. Oh yeah, and then this is the green screen. Bit. Yeah, yeah, two of them on because I think when we saw the map last episode, there was like Maury's farm or whatever. Yeah, so some local farm was one of. The and it seems like she's had a shortage of water. That's right. Yeah. And yeah, the green screen behind them is terrible, like showing the the farm basically. Yeah, and there's some sort of plan. I don't know if it's then or not, but they've got like some fast acting cement and they're going to yeah, block so off they the kind water. of go into the science again of this fast acting I cement. I think I was looking up something on um, IMDb and they pour it point. down the well in the yeah. farm to block off the water from then getting to Bobby Stone's That's facility. That's right. So it will stay up in the in the right place kind of thing. Yeah, yeah and stop Bobby getting it. Yeah. And, um, then, and then at the same time they find out that it's industrial exhaust which is killing the dad which is very on the nose environmental kind of yeah. stuff it's the same a lot of it is it's from them burning the, the plastic bottles isn't it so yeah. it's, it's directly following on from that message um, and then they just go right we'll look at the building plan they go underneath him where the dad is because they can't get in because oh, it's, no, no. it's a um, first they get into scan. the building using the watch that they've stolen that's right okay to yeah. get in there so they get and in then with they that go bit. down the corridor and they see him in the room and there's a biometric fingerprint scan hand yeah scan, and like obviously. bulletproof glass they can't get through so they're like we need to get him out of there instead and it's like well yeah that was kind of the plan yeah they're like anyway. instead of us getting in there we need to get him out and I was like <laughs> well obviously <laughs> you're not just gonna you're not just gonna go in there and sit in there with him but like <laughs> let's all go in and just die together yeah but yeah, they go underneath because they find the building plan on like the watch or something. Or yeah. Whatever, um, or the AI. And they go in like this point. big kind of room underneath. And and they're like, a These are load bearing poles. Yeah, and then they've just got like this plasma cutter thing. Like, yeah. a, like not a, it's like an opposite of a welder. I guess it's a plasma cutter. Yeah. And they're just, they're cutting they're it. Like, Let's cut it. And it just breaks hard. Like it stops halfway through and they're like, oh. Oh no, I oh, hope no. that's enough. And then uh, What's Bobby and uh, No Regrets turn up. And I yeah. was like, oh, this could be interesting. And then they just like <laughs> they fight. Just start fighting. And like Bobby picks up like a, a he, Susie picks up a pole. Like, I know exactly where this is going. Right. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. they're all just like fighting. And it's like, <laughs> it's this kind of, it made me laugh. Yeah. I was really surprised there was actual fighting. It's like the whole this, thing is like, it's like this guy who clearly like does lots of exercise and stuff. Yeah. And this guy, and like his henchman. Who's like a young guy in his like yeah. 20s or something. Who are getting beaten by two like teenagers. Six, they're supposed to be like 16 or 17. And it's like, okay. And like, obviously uh, they know their science. We yeah. haven't seen anything that suggests they do any no, fighting. but I imagine that they're supposed to have been trained in some way. Yeah, but, they are spies, I guess. But yeah, they're doing like <laughs> grapples. And like almost immediately, one of them gets thrown through the, do they get thrown through the mm. thing or does it bash it? Uh, I think they get uh, thrown directly into the pillar and it knocks it down. No, I think he whacks it with the pipe. Right, but it falls away like foam. Like it's not. Yeah. It's not oh a yeah. It's not. Uh, it's not a load bearing pole. <laughs> no. like. But then nothing happens immediately. No. For ages, really. But it starts to crack. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um. And then they're like, the si- it's, this is the two sisters. There yeah. So the fight. two sisters are fighting the two 
male bad guys. Yeah, and then like the the roof collapses. Bobby and No Regrets get just like get crushed, killed. and the dad just kind of lands <laughs> yeah. in his chair. In his he's, chair, that he's, he's like, like tied oh, to. He's fine. And then they, yeah, and then we just assume, I guess, that the, they died. <laughs> well, no, because we then see No Regrets and Bobby Stone getting arrested by the oh, police. Right. Okay. So yeah. Okay, okay that makes sense. And, and it's like, they just died. <laughs> and then the dad's really upset. I'm amazed the dad didn't die from that. But he's like, honest. I'll never get back the years, and he's getting really upset. And it's like it wasn't your fault. Like you're you're getting really like you're feeling yeah. really guilty about all this. Um, and then we get a nice montage, basically everyone. Well, before that, up. there's the weird reunite because we turns yeah, out I mean. that the oh yeah yeah because the first so, like, one is is what well, turns out to be their mum, right? Yeah, who's the quail? Who's like the, the head of the spy agency? But then they refer to her as the quail later. So yeah. she, I guess she doesn't want her friends to know that's her mum. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, he reunites with her. The two BFFs reunite. Michaela yeah. and Kyle, the the weird kid. Yeah, and there's a guy called Zach as well who turns up. Who was a masked man who helped her or something? Oh yeah, that was it's kind of everyone kind of makes up and, and then has happy the two end. the friends they do B I B F F bring it in best friend for life. Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, I I was gonna write it down like right after that they the the sisters turn up and those two go to the sisters. Oh, how's your dad? It's like yeah, how is the, the last thing you saw he was dying and you're just all been standing around making friends. Yeah, like maybe you should have checked in or gone to help. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. yeah, he's fine. Don't worry. Uh, water's been diverted. Miles asked um, Addison on a data for a. Uh, uh, they were going to go out for a gigabyte. Oh yeah, grown is what I've written here. <laughs> oh yeah, and then that girl makes up with that guy with the who got the girl on him, and there's yeah. a camera happens to be there. It's very. Um, Monster Project. In the <laughs> yeah, and it reminded me of that it. scene <laughs> it's so much. The same thing. There's, you literally see the camera guy just put a camera down next yeah. to him, and then they're having this emotional thing, and then they like Everyone's make watching. up and kiss at the end. And then they, <laughs> she goes out to her friends, and what they all start saying: "Go, go Michaela, us. go Michaela." And then they all go, "Go, go us, us, go And us. then we get like a montage, which I assume is like, well, like all, the catchphrase thing. When yeah, they win. all they go asses from yeah. all their episodes. So it's just like. Go us <laughs> and yeah, and then it ends. And, and I, then it ends. And, and I thought, and I'm sure Project MC Square. Yeah, I'm sure that meant something to to someone to the dedicated fans. It was a, uh, it's a bit boring. It was like <laughs> it was fine. Like obviously, yeah. I'm not gonna watch it again. But I didn't hate it. <laughs> really? I was going watch it again after. Uh, yeah. Um, no, no. Unless unless Christina listens to this and is like, oh, well, that sounds like something I'd watch, <laughs> and um, then you end up binge watching. Well, we it. get the full song after. Um, and I also suddenly wondered at the end how how old are they supposed to be? Because <laughs> I hadn't thought about it, but I guess they were like supposed about 15, to be about 16. But they they were definitely older than that at the end, right? I know well, we kind of talked about it at the start. Yeah, she would have been like seventeen at the end right. of the series. I don't know. The I thought girl. I just assumed they were older, but I think that's just because it's the it's the way things go with these things. The actresses yeah. and actors but, are normally older. Yeah, you know, I didn't I didn't think it was bad for like a. A no, teenage no, no. And series it's, like it's. I wouldn't be if. I mean, it's obviously on Netflix, but I wouldn't have been surprised to see that on you know um, afternoons after school. On yeah, TV, and like if if I, if I had like a here. thirteen year old daughter, I'd probably show it to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. It seemed it seemed fine for what it was. It yeah. just um yeah it just wasn't, we're obviously not just the wasn't for me really um yeah i mean i thought some of the bits were quite funny i don't know anything about did you see anything about any of the people who made it the writing or anything no like, like it was created by jordana arkey who i couldn't really find right okay. much information about um but i did get one bit of trivia actually which right, was kind okay. of on the imdb but there's more to it when i did the research about right. danica mckellar who plays right. the quail? Yes, yes, yes. Slash yes. the mum, who uh, has turned out for like the last twenty years has wrote like a series of maths book for teenage girls. Right. Okay. I didn't think I did see that. Was that? It's, it's, it kind of. She's some sort of mathematician, is she? Yeah. As she, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it meant. Yeah, she's yeah, a mathematician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I you go so. on her Wikipedia page, like, um, it kind of says like all these kind of books she's written to oh, yeah, encourage like teenage girls to get into maths. So it seems like she's perfect for this TV series. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So she was a real, yeah, like, um, linchpin in the whole thing. Kind yeah. Of thing. Like which I then had a look yeah. 
on the Project MC Squared wiki. And yeah. she's only in like five episodes. Yeah, I guess she's, maybe she was busy writing stuff. It turns out yeah. she was in the Wonder Years as well, which was like a massive comedy. Like a oh, yeah. She was in that from 88 to 93. So that would be where most people would recognize her yeah. from. So yeah, as a, as a, quite a young person, I'd imagine, teenager. I mean, yeah, it was 88, 93, yeah. 30 years ago sense. now. But yeah, cool. So I think, I mean, some people who listen might, um, might know her very well. Yeah. And might be quite surprised if we don't, but something like the Wonder Years was never really, I mean, it's obviously it's a bit before our, bit time, before our time, but we only, we get certain reruns of things here um, and that was not, what, yeah, not it's, never it's one like, of them. You kind of see in America, people always debate between like Friends and Seinfeld, but yeah. like, we never really got Seinfeld here. We never here. got Seinfeld here at all, no. So um, it was always Friends. <laughs> That's it, yeah. And they were competing things, obviously, at the time. But yeah, I've tried to watch Seinfeld before, and I think I chose the wrong episode because it wasn't really for me. (laughs) I feel like I should watch it. It's one of those things that so many people go on about it, especially people who are a bit elitist about comedy and, um, you know, think Friends is... A lot of people who like shit on Friends use Seinfeld as an example, but like... Like maybe maybe people can like different things, you know? (laughs) Or you could like both of them as well, you know? (laughs) But anyway, um, yeah, should we do some ratings for this then? Yeah, I Just mean... Just for both did, episodes together, really, I suppose. Yeah, so did we do ratings for Blue Book? I can't remember. But no, we can do I mean, this. like, I'll, I'll give it like a five. Yeah, well. I was going to say four, I think. Like, I don't think it's badly made. And like, obviously the acting yeah. and the sets and the stuff isn't very good. But yeah, I'd be interested to watch some of these people in other shows and yeah. see what... A what lot kind of, of performances just a they, result of yeah. the setup. Like. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame anyone at all. I'm sure it was great to be in. Well, hopefully, the experience was good for people. But you know, yeah, good exposure and um, it's a positive message and all that kind of thing. So yeah, yeah, like it's. I don't think it's any better or worse than kind of those sort of shows that we grew up with. No, not at all. I mean, if I yeah, the one I mentioned, M I High or whatever. It's yeah, called, if I went back and watched any of that. I'm sure it'd be exactly and like, the same. Like Christina's watched things like Hannah Montana, that's so Raven and Wizards yeah, of Waverly yeah, Place. Yeah. I mean, all of them, if you watch any of them. I, I like, mean, I've seen clips of uh, iCarly and stuff like that yeah, before, which like, I think's got a re I, To be honest, I, I reckon it probably is a bit worse than them because it's just a short Netflix series. Yeah, yeah. But I was kind of... <laughs> but it's a similar, a, in a similar way. A late vein, 20s almost, guy, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't be like, oh no, this is, this is shit. Yeah, because at the end of the day, as we've said four or five yeah. times now, it's not for us, is it, really? Yeah. So but, you know, if, if, fine. if you know a 13-year-old girl in a... Yeah, yeah. Like, then, <laughs> or if you are a 13-year-old girl. Or if you girl, are 13 I don't imagine there's that too many 13-year-old anybody listening to this podcast. <laughs> but, you um, never know. But if, yeah, if you've never heard of this show before, then it might be... Yeah, you. I mean, it's, it's on Netflix, so you, and all of it is on Netflix. So you yeah. can just, if you've got Netflix, you can just binge it. That's the thing, and I imagine that I think there are I a looked lot of up. other shows like this on Netflix that we're just completely... Yeah, liberal, I quickly so. did Google it. It's like, you can watch the whole thing in eight hours. Right, okay. <laughs> it's like, you could just sit down one day and watch it all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, enough, it might yeah. be a, a long, painful day. there's but... a couple of specials, because we saw one when we were looking for the trailer. Oh, the happy birthday. There's a happy birthday, and I think there's a Valentine's thing I saw when yeah, I was Yeah, and we were saying it, the, the way they've structured it is quite weird. It's 26 episodes across six seasons, but like, yeah. season four has one episode. Yeah, season, that might be one of the specials. That might be the Valentine's Maybe. Thing. Season one was three episodes, yeah. so it's just a little story. like a Five and six story both arc. have six. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, what we said is that we reckon that each one is its story in itself. Yeah, I think because when we right. saw the trailer, that series one was about her joint, like the initial thing. Yeah, well, Michaela this, had joined. This and was the, all... they were suspicious of her, and then they all ended up becoming yeah. spies, kind of thing. And this yeah. season's all about Bobby Stone. Yeah, well, it, it was initially it looked like this started off where. Um, someone had tried to blow up Bobby Stone's lab or something, or his, not his lab, yeah. his warehouse. I imagine. And they thought that it was, that was the bad guy attacking them. Yeah. But it turned out to I'd be I'd be quite intrigued to see. I, I reckon the episode before the ones we watched probably had the big twist that Bobby Stone's actually a bad yeah, guy. Yeah, it's just the, the reason why um, I initially picked that uh, final episode is because it was the highest, highest rated, rated by one, far. Yeah. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, we're not really watching it to, to know the plot. I completely agree. It would have been good to have that revelation. But, um, yeah. I mean, if it was the one before, maybe three. But then 
watching an hour. Never watched an hour of it. <laughs> which is... Uh, I mean, like, this is the first time ever we've watched, like, two of one thing. Yeah, because we discussed it before, because there's quite a few um, on the list that are shorter things. 20 yeah. minutes or so episodes. And we'll, we'll do some more at some point, but... Um, yeah, it's a bit of a... Uh, Obviously, we've mostly done films. Blue Book yeah. was a, like a 40-minute episode. So. Yeah, so it's basically, it should be the same length. I mean, uh, as <laughs> this episode is going to be a little bit shorter, but um, that's understandable, really. <laughs> yeah. There's not, not as much for us to talk about. Um, but yeah, um, anything else you want to talk about on that front? Or no, I think, I think that's, to... that's pretty much it. Like, I haven't yeah. really got anything too negative to say. Cause... No, I mean, I say it's boring and stuff. It's It's... It was fine. fine. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. I think it's with kids stuff, there's less almost to, like you said, criticize, but also less to note down and to, yeah, uh, because things move quite quickly and all the conversation, although the acting is bad, it's meant to just deliver. It's either a joke or it's moving to the or next point or yeah. it's a science thing in this case. Um, yeah. So yeah, shall we move on to then some personal Let's. projects? So, personal projects, Lewis, have you got anything to start with today? Yeah, so um, they stuck Downton Abbey on Netflix. Has it only just come on recently? Though? Yeah, right, I think okay. so. Right. Um, and it's titled like a, like some watch series classics, Downton Abbey, because that's how it was like shown in America. Right, okay. I'm like, I watch it on British Netflix. Why isn't it just called Downton Abbey? Yeah, as if, what? so the actual title on there is... Like, you know when you like pause an episode and it says in the top right, like season one, episode one, and it, oh, says, really? it says like yeah. oh, Masterpiece Classics, oh, Downton Abbey. Okay, that must be a new way that they're kind of categorizing I think, I know, oh, there's then. a Masterpiece Classics is like a series in America where they get oh. like foreign like classic tv shows um, right, and okay. show them under the the under title the of title. masterpiece yeah, yeah. so yeah okay so you so it, it ties them together almost it's, it's almost like, kind of like, if you a, like this a one, seal of like approval sort of yeah, thing yeah yeah okay uh, Which, but yeah. it's weird though yeah because it's uh it's on it's british bbc Netflix. isn't it yeah. or itv um, itv yeah itv yeah yeah but yeah i watched i used to watch dance Abbey with my mum i think I think I stopped watching after like season three or four because that's yeah. when we I've then started uni. Never watched it at all. Yeah, it was never really single, my thing, but like single episode. Uh, but no. It's this. It's, it's I've watched like two seasons <laughs> in two days. Like it's I mean, just I would, really good. I would, <laughs> I would be open to watching it. You know, more so than um, Anola Holmes. I, think. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, there's quite a lot of there's a lot of actors and actresses that I like in it. Yeah, like Dan Stevens. Dan who, Stevens is Dan like Stevens a regular. Is it's like one of like, Maggie, I think Smith is, Maggie Smith is like the best character in it. Literally, one of the episodes I watched, it had uh, a guy that was engaged to someone who's played by the guy that plays Jorah Mormon in Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. engaged to someone and it kind of all breaks off. And he, he says <laughs> to Maggie Smith's character, like, uh, I'm very, I apologize, Lady Grant, I imagine this will be the last time I see you. <laughs> and she turns around and goes, is that a promise? <laughs> it's like, her yeah, like she's quite like remark. sassy, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, yeah, I've heard it's, it, yeah. It's uh, it's very entertaining. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm surprised. I lots of times when I see people in things for the first time, it will say "Down to Nabby" on their like record, yeah. and, pe- and lots it's, of people I say that. I forgot as well. The first episode, Charlie Cox is in it. Oh yes, and that's right. Yeah, I still yeah. get confused because I know him best from Daredevil. Yeah, so I might yeah, watch same, him, like, Obviously, yeah. he's in like Stardust and stuff as well. Yeah. But I still find it funny when like he's looking at people because I'm so used to him and Daredevil. Because his like, acting is his blind acting is actually yeah, very well, good. He even said at one point that after Daredevil he he failed a few auditions because he wasn't he making... couldn't get his eyes properly. <laughs> so he got so trained. He'd like and... unfocus them a bit, kind of. Yeah, yeah which just is probably like... really bad for your eyes. I, th- I think he looks really weird when he's looking around now. Because I'm so used to him like wearing like uh, yeah. sunglasses or just like staring dead forward. Um, yeah, yeah oh, down down Tavi's good. Nice, so, like... nice. No, I, I will probably give it a watch. I imagine it's something Amy would. It was by the I, she's definitely watched yeah I did ask oh, Christina if she wants to watch she just watched Bridgerton a few months ago yeah I watched which Bridgerton which kind of like yeah. a more like sexy yeah. Downton Abbey yeah yeah um, which I thought was it was pretty Bridgerton good Bridgerton was alright yeah I mean it was I think it was around Christmas was it yeah so it was that kind of, it felt like that kind of watching you know I think we were all we were think, still quite locked down at that point it was quite yeah. a good little binge series it, it I didn't the writing was pretty bad and it kind of went off the rails. I like lost interest in certain I thought, characters. I, I, Joe, stuff, actually, but... I I think I think we were going to the pub or something and Christine was going to finish off the season. Right. So okay. I just 
sat on my phone and, uh, and, and read through the plot and I was like, okay. And that's it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's the revelation at the end, which is just like, okay. Yeah, I, th- I think that's what it was. I wanted to know what the revelation was. So I just yeah. checked on Wikipedia. And, and the like, thing oh, for okay. me is that the two leads, um, well, I can't remember their names, but the, the guy and the girl who are, will they, won't they for a bit, yeah. they get married and then like they have this stupid thing, which is just like, it's a very manufactured argument about having children. And it just, it just lost me from that point yeah. on. Like all the tension, everything was gone. Like I know it's based on a book series and that's obviously the way that the, imagine the first book went. But, yeah. Um, but they're doing another season. It's going to focus on different characters mm. within that main, like array yeah, of characters. Yeah. I think what, one thing I quite like about Downton Abbey is that it's set over such a long period of time. Yeah. Like, it starts... Do they cover both world wars? Or... I don't know if they get to the second one. No. But, like, season two is basically the the first one. Look, season right, one ends okay. with him being, like, war's been declared. Right, I see. But, like, okay. it starts with, like, the Titanic disaster. I see, okay, And season yeah. one then ends in 1914. Right. And then, okay. then season two picks up in 2016 to 2018. 20? Uh, sorry, 19, <laughs> Yeah, and then like... It's a I'm, hot time hopping drama. <laughs> yeah. I'm now, I'm in like season three. And did you it's, watch like, the... 2020. Did you watch the movie? Yes, I did. That, that's on... I don't know if it is on Netflix, but it's on something. That I've I think got. it's on Netflix. Might be Netflix. that's then set yeah. in like 1927. Right, I So see. from like okay. season one to the film, they've covered like 15 years. Because the cast must be massive. Because I've seen pictures yeah. of, of a big group and that's obviously at one point, but people come and go. And but like the core like oh, Crawley yeah. family is yeah. like, well, it'd be a married couple and three daughters, but then there's... The there's cousin, the, there's husbands, and there's the, the grand. The staff and stuff as and well. And the staff, obviously, yeah. obviously their own yeah, cast. Yeah, thing. Okay, cool. No, yeah, I mean, I'm interested at some point. I think I always feel like I've got a lot of series to watch, but it's something that I'm yeah. you know, potentially interested in. Actually, so. I, it popped off Netflix. I immediately text my mum being like, down to Abby's on Netflix. <laughs> and she was like, what, all of it? And I was like, yeah. But especially because um, British shows tend to be shorter seasons as well. Yeah. So five to ten... Hour like, long episodes. You know that there's there's not filler episodes and stuff. I think Downton's like eight. Yeah, eight do you know what I mean? But like series. an American show is 40 like to 25. 50 minutes and it's 25 episodes. And it's yeah. like, you know, at least three of them are going to be complete nonsense episodes, yeah. but you don't know which ones and you don't want to miss out. Like we were saying, I feel like a completionist with a lot of things like this. Unless yeah. I really get to my like wits end with something, I'll try and persist with it. See, so yeah, I think Downton's yeah. got about like 50 episodes. So yeah, I mean, that's fine you it's know not too much is it yeah yeah um yeah, how about you yeah uh, kind of on the opposite end of that spectrum almost um i watched crank with jason statham <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen that no but... it's okay so that i think it was on prime and i'm pretty sure the second one's on there right um yeah completely opposite are you probably aware of the premise kind of yeah he's he, he wakes up it's the first bit's all in it's first the one person. where like he needs to keep resetting his heart he watches a DVD that says like fuck you and it's like this guy who's like his enemy in gangster <laughs> time gangster it's one know? of like the first Jason Statham it's one of the films, big, big hits and he's been injected with this Chinese poison they keep <laughs> saying the Chinese poison which is, yeah um, <laughs> Uh, yeah and it's going to slow his heart down until eventually he dies and he kind of figures out quite quickly that yeah if he does um, stimulants he has lots of like he does lots of drugs and he takes he ra- raids a store and takes all like the caffeine and he's drinking all these like 24 <laughs> hour energy or whatever those little bottles are Jesus. Um, doing adrenaline junkie stuff it's, it's, it's kind of a schlocky film and it's quite cheaply made in a lot of ways and there's a yeah. weird bit where he's like falling out of a plane that's incredibly green screen but it's really entertaining and it's only about an hour and 20 minutes so it's like it keeps moving um and i'm quite keen to watch the second one now so yeah, fair <laughs> so that was on prime they're both on prime i'm pretty sure yeah nice. so if you want to watch a short uh action film i mean yeah. some of it's a bit questionable um yeah, he says a couple of questionable things, a bit like our friend Vinny from a couple of yeah. episodes ago. No, I have been looking, because I've, I've ended up watching a lot of documentaries on Netflix, because I'm like, yeah. I don't know what to watch. I need, yeah, to, I need yeah. to go over to Prime and see, what, see what's no, going absolutely. on. No, absolutely. I mean, Netflix, I think I've... I don't know if maybe they've... I th- a lot of it's things that I watch have gone off there, and I think that their new right. stuff seems to dry up a little bit at the moment. But Prime, yeah, it's hard, much harder to navigate, I think. They don't really advertise their new stuff as well. Yeah. But there's quite a lot of good movies on there if you if you kind of know where to look. 
Um, but yeah, recommend recommend nice. Crank if you're looking for something pretty stupid. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, <laughs> very stupid. <laughs> cool. Um, so, anything else that we want to talk about before we close um, up? Today? No, I think I think that's that's just about no, it. Cool. So, um, one thing actually, I did want to add there, um, just generally, um, if you do want to support us at all, um, it'd be great to leave a review. Yeah, it really helps with like the yeah. like algorithms and the metrics of yeah getting us more visible and stuff. Apple and iTunes is the is the main one that that people um talk about when they talk about this, but. Ideally, obviously, a five star review, but you know, you can be honest, really. But five star and maybe be honest in the comment that would be the best way yeah. to help us because we can maybe get into uh, some, you know, noteworthy categories and things like that. So, yeah, please do. If you're listening now and you haven't um, done so, just maybe take a couple of minutes if, if you've got the time to do that. Yeah, it should really that help it shouldn't us out. Take too long to do. Yeah, and that's the main way you can really help us. The other main way is by just reaching us on any social medias or Gmails. Yeah. Um, so our Gmail is uh, that uh, the Gmail is the project project pod at gmail.com. Our Facebook and Instagram is the project project pod and our Twitter is at that project pods. And uh, Lewis, we've got the subreddit, haven't we? Yeah, uh, it's still like I've just been posting kind of the episodes. It's not really got going yet. Yeah, because we haven't. Yeah. I don't think we put any episodes out that we've mentioned it. Yet. No, that might be right. Yeah. So but yeah, so there is the, a subreddit. Yeah. Are the project We're a little project. bit ahead. Yeah, which is. Um, but there'll be stuff there. I'll, I'm going to keep it going. Yeah. Just... So yeah, as I say, if you want to support us by reaching out to us, um, yeah, please do. Just give us either you know, a little message. We can maybe read it out on the show. Yeah. Or any suggestions for topics, um, even if they're ones that we have got on our list. Obviously, if we know that people want to hear yeah, about a exactly. specific thing. Yeah, We've got such a long list that yeah. it's quite hard to decide which ones yeah, are what. Yeah, it'd be great to have some recommendations. We can read you out um, on the start of the episode if that's something yeah. that you'd be interested in. I'm sure most people would, would quite like that. Um, yeah, and any um, you know tidbits about something, facts about old episodes that we've done, corrections of things that we've yeah, got no, wrong. Yeah, it'd be quite fun to fun to hear. Yeah, yeah, anything about any of the episodes really um, would be great. So yeah, so please do reach us at any of those things. Um, if you find us on any of the social medias, we've got a link tree link on there, and it comes up with all these, including the website that we've just started recently. Um, that website will get bolstered a little bit more as we've got more to add. Um, and that sort of thing. But at the moment, you can listen to the episodes up there as well as all podcasting apps. Um, so, yeah. So thank you very much for listening. And uh, we will see you very soon. Yeah, thank you.